What's your best advice about how someone can enhance their business with a website and social media platform? So everyone will answer that question and just to get them warmed up and then we will throw it out to you for your questions. So uh, Alice. <laughs> Okay, my best advice to you about using social media for your business is to make sure that you mix it with um, real person-to-person, -person, face to face networking. I, I think one of the reasons that I'm so successful is because I get out and meet people. I show up and be present. I shake hands and, and get to know people and, and um, go to events and things like that. And then immediately afterwards, I go to my Facebook, I go to my LinkedIn, I go to Twitter and I find them. And I have made some remarkable friendships at this age in my life where you, I really wasn't expecting to do that um, because I get to see somebody at a networking event and it's so brief. But then I was able to go to Facebook or LinkedIn, or, and especially Facebook, I feel like you can get so close to people and have really found some new friends for business and for life that way. Um, but I think the success comes in blending the networking, the online networking with the in-person networking and really getting to know people because I believe in this day and age that people more than ever want to buy from people that they know and like and trust. And they don't want to buy from, well, who owns that store? I don't know who owns that store. You know? I mean, we all buy from the big box and the big, yes, but in town, we want to know the owner of that restaurant. We want to know the owner of that shop. We want to know the person behind the business and who they really are. And it makes a difference. So I, my advice is do both. Don't hide behind the computer, even if you're shy. You know, try to get out and really meet the people that you network with online as well. It has to go both ways. Thanks, Alice. I, I would say this, and I was the opposite of that until probably two months ago. Literally, I was on Facebook constantly. That was the only thing I did. I didn't get out and network. I didn't meet a lot of these folks in person. Actually, I just met four people in this room that I'm friends with on Facebook for the first time. So I would say absolutely get out there and network. Having said that, my business is more, I, a lot of my clientele is residential. So my clients aren't at networking events. So you have to build relationships with those clients. That's frankly, this week I've had three clients uh, that called me, all three of which were from Facebook, either fans of my page friends of fans of my page or friends of friends on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So if you're not out there putting out good content, um, you're missing, you're, you're really missing the boat. Mm -hmm. So build relationships through great content. I'm, you know, as, as Dr. Brett said, what I do is I put out information about uh, green product, toxic chemicals, uh, what you should use, what you shouldn't use, how to, um, so that I'm helping somebody before they ever even become a client of mine. And I'm the introvert, so I have a hard time getting out there and being more on the networking level. So Facebook and social media has really opened the doors for me to actually get to know more people, have a better understanding of who those people are, what their business is, and it gives me a better lead in when I meet them in person to actually have a conversation with those individuals. Um, and I think that the best thing about having a website, your Facebook, all of that stuff is you have to have the passion and you have to have honesty and create that value because the value is what people come back for. Um, and you've heard that word transparency and that's what social media is now. It's people want to get to know you, your business, who you are and, and the type of individual, you know, and those, those little key things. So, you know, have that transparency out there with a bit of tact, you know. I mean, because Facebook is one of those silly things where like, because I'm you know, young and I, I, you get mad and you want to say all these things and blast people, but you, you can't really do that, you know, because it's this open network. So you really have to be I'm attentive yeah, <laughs> to what you say. I mean, that's the drawback on, on social networking. So, yeah. but other than that, I mean, honest passion and, and provide that value and those people come back and those people identify with you. They see you. And it's a small town, and Reno's always been about referral business. Mm -hmm. So the more that you can generate that referral, and the more that you can be real with people and honest, and, and give time, you know, spend time with people, help them out, it comes back. I mean, you've heard it before, what comes around goes around. That stuff comes back, and that's what's happening right now. 
Well, what's left? You guys, <laughs> great job. I'm wrong. Okay. Well, I, I think the first thing really is to sit down and kind of create your goals, a blueprint of sort, identify your audience and how to connect with them. And are you going to be a B2B, a B2C, or let me explain a little further, business to business, business con consumer, or if you're a nonprofit, you know, nonprofit to either or those, for example. And what is the end in mind? What's, what's going to be your return on investment? ultimately you return on time because especially blogging you don't just go in there and you know spend three or four minutes like on Twitter sometimes these things can be a little exhaustive if you're doing a, a big long one and really doing something from the heart so it really has to be kind of a measured plan at first but with all that being said I think the important thing is and, and Dr. Brett and I were talking the other day is you know keeping it simple of course and just do it just get get a skeleton of a blog out there for right now and just start doing it. And for example, with realtors, there's already a platform made with Active Rain. There's a lot of trade ones out there where you just simply put your name, email, and password and, and get the flavor of it first. Now, a good strategy, of course, when you do these kind of things is once you get your WordPress blog or any searchable blog that's out there, of course, blog it first, put it on the other site second frankly for SEO purposes you know so you don't get dinged you don't yourself for duplicate content and other than that it's really again these guys touched on a lot of it is connecting with the people responding to the comments being there for them not talking down to them not being too salesman -y. it's a soft sell kind of a finger on the pulse oh by the way I sell real estate by the way I'm in the cleaning business so they know that but it's not a, a hammer because we certainly don't want to get unfriended. And I will say, Larry here has been a Facebook friend of mine since day one. I just met him tonight, and he didn't get unfriended. He's very soft at what he does, so thank you.